Duno coin mining can be very complicated if you don't know what you're doing. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can get started with mining Duno coin. In the description, I have timestamps for what board you want to start mining with. So check it out. And also while you're down there, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And let's jump straight into the video. First thing you want to do is go to dunacoin.com. Once you're on this page, you want to click the get started button in the green. It will take you to this page and here you can make an account if you don't have one or you can select that you already have an account. Also, if you just want to check it out without actually making an account, you can also just click the continue without login button. In my case, I already have an account. So that's why I'm clicking this one. So this is the new getting started page. And here you can clearly see what boards you can mine with. So let's start with PC. So once you've clicked PC, you can choose which operating system you use on your PC. In my case, it's Windows 10. Then you would come to this page where it's exactly described how you can start mining with your PC. I also have a video about mining with a PC or a mobile phone. You should definitely check it out. I'll post it on the top here so you can just check it out if you want. But here just the explanation of how to exactly mine with your PC. It's basically a step by step process so it's really easy. So the next one is the smartphone. If you want to mine with your smartphone you can also choose between Android or another. The thing is that the application for mining Dunacoin is only on Android, so not on Apple, but you can mine on an Apple using the web miner. This will take you to this page. And if you're on mobile, it's really easy to just click this button and you'll download the APK for mining Dunacoin. And it will look a little bit like this on the right. And you just type in your profile name once you made an account and the amount of threads that you want mining. And you just click start and then it will just start mining Dunacoin. The next one is really exciting because it's a feature phone or limited device. This basically means that it's a really old phone or a Nintendo DS or anything that basically has internet access but isn't a normal smartphone. Again, just a simple step-by-step -step guide on how you're gonna do this. It will eventually show you in yellow this type of home screen where you again type in your wallet name and your password and we'll just start mining. The fourth board that you can mine Dunacoin with is a Raspberry Pi. The first thing you have to do when you mine with a Raspberry Pi is type these two lines. This basically makes sure that you update your package on your Raspberry Pi. After that you want to install Python and Git. You do that by typing this command. If you just bought your Raspberry Pi this is going to take a little while, but if you already have a Raspberry Pi, the chances are that you might own one of these two on your Raspberry Pi. After that, you just want to download the latest source on GitHub for mining Dunacoin. Once you've downloaded it, you want to navigate to the folder where you downloaded it. You do that by typing CD Dunacoin, and then you launch the PCMiner.py. You can do that by typing this command into your terminal. It should start mining then. But if you have trouble with mining with a Raspberry Pi, I suggest you joining my Discord channel and you can just ask any question about it you want because everyone in my Discord channel can help you with mining with your Raspberry Pi. The fifth board is mining with an Arduino. With the Arduino, you need a host device. So that's why you can select between a PC, Raspberry Pi or an ESP. Let's just say we're using a Raspberry Pi. The first thing you are going to do when you're mining with an Arduino is downloading Arduino IDE. This is a program where you can copy and paste or download the HTML codes and run it to make sure it works on your Arduino. Obviously, then you're going to just download the latest release for Dunacoin, which in this case at this moment is 3.3, which should definitely check out if that's the latest for now. Then it just tells you step by step how you can exactly download it and get it into Arduino IDE. After that, you want to go to your Raspberry Pi and I'm going to assume 
that you've already set it up. But if not, you want to update your package first, which are these two lines that you type into your terminal. And after that, you want to install a Python and Git with this line. Once you've done that, you want to clone the Dunokarn repository. Type in your terminal git clone and then the URL where you got the code. After that, you want to navigate to your Dunokarn directory with cd Dunokarn. Now you're going to connect your Arduino to the Raspberry Pi with a USB cable if you haven't done that already. And then you're going to launch the AVR miner with this code, python3avrminer.py. Again, the same as with a normal Raspberry Pi. If this is the first time you're using these boards, it might take a while before it starts, but just give it a little bit of time. And of course, if it doesn't work, you can always join my Discord channel, which the link is in the description, to ask questions about what you're doing wrong, or maybe your board is faulty. Just any question you have about mining, you can come to my channel and we'll just help you. And after that, you should be mining with your Arduino. The next board is the ESP8266. It's a board where I'm very familiar with. I can explain to you really quick how you mine with these, but I suggest you watching this video that I put on the top right now because it's a really detailed and easy way to mine with an ESP. So let's run through these. Of course, you gotta download Arduino IDE. This is basically the program where you launch your HTML to. After that, you wanna add the ESP82 support to the Arduino IDE. You do that to open the program, click file on the top, then preference, and paste the following additional board manager URLs in this field. It's a link that you can find on the get started page of DunoCoin, and you just click OK and it saves. After that, you wanna install ESP82 support for IDE. You click tools, you hover on boards and open the board manager window. And then in the search box, you just search for ESP8266 and you just install the ESP8266 community. When it finishes installing, you can just close it off. Once you've done that, you can just fill in the code with your Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi password, with your wallet name, all those kind of things that I should tell you about in a video I made. You can always just follow step by step the getting started page of the ESP8266. But it's really easy. Then you just upload it into Arduino IDE and you should start mining then. A key way to see if your board starts mining is if you see the LEDs blinking on the ESPs. The second to last board on the getting started page is the ESP32. Basically the ESP32 is exactly the same way to set up as your ESP8266. But if you just skipped to this part of the video, I'm going to explain to you really quick how you do that. First, you download Arduino IDE. After that, you want to add your ESP32 to Arduino IDE. You do that by going into Arduino IDE, click on file on the top, then preference, and then paste the following in additional boards manager URL fields. It's this link that you can find on the getting started page. After that, you want to install the ESP32 support to Arduino IDE. Do this by clicking on tools, then hover on boards and open the boards manager window. There you search for ESP32 and a package by Espressive Systems should come up. You just install this package and then you can close it off. On the getting started page, but also in the code, you can just type in your username, your password, and also your Wi-Fi name and password, and click this button, which makes sure that your code is already integrated with your details. Then you just download this and open it in Arduino IDE. You click upload on the top left, and it's basically set, and then you're mining with your ESP32. The last board we're gonna talk about today is the Raspberry Pi Pico. The Raspberry Pi Pico is currently in experimental phase. That means that the Pico has two cores, but for mining Dunacoin, you can only use one. Maybe it will change in the future, but right now, you might just wanna check out the ESP32 because it has the same features for the same price. But if you just have a Raspberry Pi Pico laying around, this is how you set it up. Again, you download Arduino IDE for your PC. 
after that you want to add the pico support to arduino ide you do this by going to file then to preferences and additional board manager urls and then you type in this link address and post it into the additional board managers url you can find this link on the getting started page and then just save the changes by clicking ok then you want to download pico support on arduino ide you do this by going to tools then hover on boards and open the boards manager window in the search box you search for pico and there should be a package that called earled f philhauer you install this package and then just close the window after that you just download the latest release of the duno miner and upload it to arduino ide once your code is in arduino ide make sure you see in tools that you're using the right boards and the right com port for your pc if you've chosen the right one there's nothing more to do just click on upload on the top left and your pico is mining duno coin so those were the eight ways of mining duno coin right now I know it's really quick, I went through them really quick, but I have an extended video, especially on the ESP8266 and the ESP32. Also a little bit about the Raspberry Pi Pico because it's basically the same way. So if you want a detailed version how you set these boards up, please go to the video on the top of the video. I've also made a video how you can mine with your PC, phone or web page. And you should also check that out. But mining Dunacoin has become pretty straightforward. Refox made a new getting started page as you could see in this video. Which is really easy to follow. So everyone can just click the boards that they're using. And follow the step by step program that's on the website. But I hope this video helped for you guys. And you guys now know how to mine with Dunacoin. Also next week I'm going to upload another community showcase. So if you want your rig from Dunacoin featured in my video, make sure to join my Discord channel and upload a photo of your rig. So maybe your rig would be featured in the next showcase. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.